Royal Steward has a traveling aspect. There are many different types of terrain in which a player can traverse. This video will describe the different types of terrain. Movement points are maximized when crossing the plains. Also, hunters and trappers can capture quite a few animals from the plains. The beekeeper can also find beehives here. The forest is very useful for the lumberjack and the forester. The forester can obtain maple syrup, fruits, and nuts from the forest tiles. River tiles have a random chance of being generated based on a lake being drawn as a random tile. Then there's a 50% chance that it will link up to the nearby ocean. This is the fisherman's domain. Also, lumberjacks can transport logs that they capture in forests by the nearby river tiles. The courier can also obtain resources, such as clay and stone. River tiles cannot be crossed unless you use the engineer's building skill to build a bridge, or if you have a raft, canoe, sailboat, or cargo ship. Since rivers can section off areas of the terrain, Players can determine at the start of the game what their strategies may be. The lake terrain is similar to the river, except you must exit from the same terrain tile that you entered from. Also, as mentioned, if a lake is randomly drawn at the beginning of the game, it may determine whether rivers link to the ocean. The hills are great for the collier, who can obtain coal, the miner, who can dig up various resources, as well as the quarrier. Spelunkers can also explore tailless caves. Mountains can only be traversed if the player has boots, rope, and warm clothing. This is the main domain of the miner. They can find quite a few minerals inside the mountains. The quarrier can find a lot of stone. The spelunker can explore limestone caves here. Players can only travel one-fourth the distance on mountain tiles compared with, say, the plains tiles. Also, no animals can travel here unless an engineer has built a stone road. The desert, being inhospitable, doesn't result in many resources. The animal handler can actually find camels here, however. Incidentally, camels are the only type of animal that can travel in the desert. Also, players can only travel to this type of terrain if they have cool clothing, such as cotton, linen, or silk. One benefit of desert tiles is you can move just as quickly as you can on the plains, which means you can traverse the terrain more quickly if you can pass through the desert tiles. Swamp tiles can only be visited if you have swamp boots. The other alternative is to have an engineer build a bridge. There are many occupations that can get resources from the swamps. One more disadvantage about the swamps, however, is you move just as slowly as you do in the mountains, and animals can't travel here at all. The beach is a great area for fishermen. They can obtain crabs, lobsters, oysters, and shrimp. Also, the miner has the ability to obtain salt by doing salt mining. Ocean terrain tiles can only be traversed if you have a sailboat or cargo ship. Also, the oceans are randomly generated at the beginning of the game. There's four quadrants to the terrain area, and each quadrant has a 50% chance of having an ocean. Tundra provides a wide variety of resources. For instance, the forester can obtain strawberries, the miner can find pure gold, and the spelunker can even explore ice caves which provides unlimited water for the rest of the game. A player must have boots and warm clothing, such as fur, leather, or wool, in order to explore tundra. The hot springs provide resources for the chemist. Only players with cool clothing can traverse these tiles. Another rare terrain type, the volcano, again is useful for the chemist. Also, miners can find uncut diamonds and gold. Only players with boots, rope, and cool clothing can traverse these tiles, and no animals can travel here. 
even though only a handful of occupations were mentioned, there are some that rely heavily on terrain, such as the explorer. The more terrain tiles you can visit, the more points you're going to earn as the explorer. There's also other ones such as the hunter and the trapper who can gather resources from pretty much any tile. The animal handler can also charm animals and have them become resources. Royal Steward has over 50 different occupations a player can use. Some are just more travel dependent than others. I hope you enjoyed this video on the summary of terrain. Thanks for watching.